So I'm just gonna do a casual get ready with me. Um, it's currently Friday and it's around 5.40 in the afternoon and I'm about to go for dinner with workmates so I figured I might as well just film me getting ready. It's not like a look that is new to me. I just wanted to do my go-to glam at night time and maybe a little bit more hydrating. I hope you guys enjoy. So for so primer, I am going to use the Essence Glow Liquid Highlighter and the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer just on the areas where I needed pore filling. I like to illuminate my cheek area because that seems to be like the area where it looks a little bit dull for me. It just adds like a nice glow. And then the pore minimizing, I mainly just focus this on the areas where I need minimizing such as here and here. So pores be gone. For brows today, I don't really do my brows on camera but I thought I would do just speed it up so this is the current state of my eyebrows it's a little bit bushy like underneath but I kind of like it so I'm just gonna use the Total Temptation from Maybelline for some reason I really enjoy this eyebrow pencil like the nib looks like this but the color is cool toned enough that matches my eyebrows so I'm just gonna quickly comb that and just start filling it in I like to leave my brows like that for now until I do my eyeshadows and then start grooming it in. I'm still on my robe at the moment because I don't really know what to wear. So for eyeshadow today, I am going to go and use my Nervina palette because it has the color that I like and also just like a easy shimmer. So I'm going to prime my eyes using the Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm almost out of it. Surprisingly not. Must have used it quite a lot. To set that, I am going to go and use the shade Code Base, which is this one right here. I like it because it has a little bit of sheen, so it adds brightness to the eyes. And I like to pop that all the way up to my brow bone. This is going to be the easiest eye look ever. For transition shade, I am going to go and use Eccentric, which is this one right here. It's more of like a camel brown. And with the same brush, I'm going to go and use Incense which is just a touch lighter than eccentric and I'm going to pop that just on top of everything for the outer corner I'm going to go and use volatile which is this one right here it's a plummy color And blend it with incense and usually I would just leave it like that but I really want to use one of these like shimmer shades here I think I am going to go and use summer which is a golden shade right here Just a touch and I'm going to buff that out with a brush. And I have been loving this um, technique recently where I would grab like a shade like this and just press it on top of the eyeshadow. And then I will go and blend. That's pretty much it for the eyes. It's relatively easy. I don't really do 
a lot of complicated things because usually I just want to be on the go. Um, so I'll just curl my lashes. And I'm going to apply two mascaras. This one is both from Essence. So I have the false lashes and I have the red one. This is called Maximum Definition. So there's really no order for it. I just go with whatever I have on first. So this is what it looks like with just the red mascara. And for everyday wear, I kind of like this kind of look. But I will go and put this on this side right here so you can see the difference. This one had has more volume and length so here is the side by side so here is the false lash and here is the um, definition I definitely prefer this one but usually I tend to mix them both because I'm lazy and I don't really wear false lashes I'm pretty much happy with how my eyes is looking so for face today I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I have the shade 332. I finally have my match in this foundation because this foundation is really nice. The ones that I have before is 310 but it's a bit too light for me. So I like to use a sponge. I need a little bit more coverage. Sorry, my camera just died, but here is the foundation. It's looking a little bit orange, but I promise you once I bronze and conceal, it would be okay. So for concealer, I'm going to mix the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Revolution Conceal and Define. I like this for coverage. Because, as you've seen before, I have a really bad dark circle. And I like this one for brightness. I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring. So I'm going to slightly set my under eye first before it creases. Just that area right there. So for cream contouring slash bronzing, just the Fenty match stick. I use this for every day and it's so good. It just blends right into the skin and it has a cream to powder finish. For powder, I like to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And this thing won't finish. I still have it. And it's still going strong. So I like to put a little bit of powder on this side. To brighten that area. And the center of my face. And then I like to grab a big powder brush to set the face to bronze or set that with powder I'm going to use the Anastasia powder bronzer in saddle contour Kat Von D shade and light I'm still using this For blush today, I am going to use this NARS Steven Klein palette, which I have for a while now, but I don't really use it that often because it's a little bit harder to open. So I'm going to mix this shade and this shade.
For highlighter, I am going to use the MAC Vanilla Pigment. Oh my gosh, this is so good as a highlighter. No, the only problem is it's so freaking messy. Like, very messy. I'm gonna take the ones that I have on the cap. Roll that. It's a bit too much. So I'll put some on this side. Very subtle highlight, but I actually quite like it. It just blends right into the skin. And it gives like a nice golden highlight. Lower lash line. I am going to use Eccentric. Probably just that shade, to be honest. Maybe a little bit of incense as well. For the inner corner highlight, I am going to go and use Dreamer, which is this one right here. Wow, that's that inner corner highlight. And then mascara. I'll just use Lucas Popo Lip Balm because I don't know what to wear. I'll be right back once I'm changed and I fix the hair and I will share with you guys what lip combo I use. So here's my final look. I just put on this shirt which I thrifted a while ago. I'm probably just gonna leave my hair like this and then I pop on some studs and jeans and just an open toe shoe and I'll probably just put a wear leather jacket. That's my outfit for dinner. It's pretty simple, easy and it's a cute outfit for a glass of vino as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!